And every time he married thereafter, there was a purpose. It was not in order to fulfill his desires, his base desires, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That wasn't a primary objective, but there were objectives connected to so many things that Allah had ordained and inspired him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted the deen to be carried on, to be taken all the way to us. Hence the marriage to Aisha radiallahu anha and, and, and the others. And Aisha radiallahu anha as young and intelligent, someone who would ask many questions, someone who would not only witness what was happening, but register it and process it and convey it. That was one of the main purposes of the marriage with Aisha radiallahu anha. Otherwise, they hardly lived together for, for a long time. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. But she came in for a purpose. Like I said, if you don't know the purpose, go and study it. Here is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu He loved his spouses and he was not afraid to express that love. One day they asked him, who do you love the most? Imagine the Nabi of Allah, a pious, pious, the most pious. In me, he used to say, I am the most God-fearing from amongst you. Atqaakum lillah. I'm the most God-conscious from amongst you. And they asked him, imagine asking a very pious person, who do you love the most? And he looks up to you and says, my wife. And he says the name, Aisha, Allahu Akbar. As a husband, he did that. He did that. Who do you love the most? Aisha. Then who? A father. Subhanallah. Amazing. If you look at that, how many of us are afraid to express the love? You Forget about telling someone else, I love my wife so much. But you tell her, we don't even tell her that I love you so much or him the other way around. Because remember, although we're talking about Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu as a husband, his teachings are beneficial, obviously, for the women too. So to be able to tell your spouse, I love you so much. You know, I really love you. I love you the most. Why not? It's, it's from Allah in your heart. And you can love someone the most from different angles, subhanallah. So you have your fatherly love, you have your siblings, you have your uh, children, and you have your spouse. The love is different angles of love. So you might love your spouse the most in terms of uh, the, the spousal love, and you love your mother the most in terms of your, uh, you know, the parent, parental love, for example. It's a different type of love.